I'm totally crazy for doing that. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pam and today's video as the title suggests I'm going to attempt <laughs> to read Kingdom of Ash in 24 hours. So we are January 3rd today and January 1st I finished Tower of Dawn. I finished it at 5 a.m. in the morning so I did not slap. Well I slept like five hours after that but yeah i stayed up to finish tower of dawn absolutely loved it big surprise you should yeah big surprise today i decided that i want to start the new year with a bang and what better way to do it than to read a almost a thousand pages book in 24 hours like what could go wrong what could go wrong i'm i'm crazy i think um so yeah so um in 24 hour i'm gonna try to read the entirety of kingdom of ash as you can tell it's a big old book it's so heavy it's such a big book um but i really love sarah jane mass books i really love the Toronto class books they're like really fast paced they're easy to read so I might be able to do it I don't know I hope so I don't know how it's gonna go but like I said it's almost like a thousand pages it's actually let me check it's 980 pages <laughs> what yeah so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best I wanted to do this intro now just because I need to go to my Apple store and I think I've talked about it in my October, November wrap up, but I had issues with my computer. I still have issues with it. Um, basically, I have to change the battery. And because my MacBook is old, well old, I got it in 2016 because it's an older one, they had to order the battery, the, 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 the piece, you know, the battery anyway um so now it's it, it arrives so i just need to drop off my computer but my closest apple store to me is is around like 45 minutes drive so i have to go there i have to drop off my mac come back and then i'm gonna start the 24 hour when i'm gonna be back um, but right now, I'm currently uploading <laughs> my January Jenga TBR because I wanted to at least have that up before I drop off my computer because otherwise it's going to be up so late and I don't want that. So yeah, so I don't know really when I'm going to start the 24-hour. Yeah, it's going to be later today. And also, another really exciting thing that's going to happen tomorrow is I will get my third dose of the vaccine. So I'm gonna have my booster tomorrow. So I'm getting vaccinated, yay. Um, I'm really, really happy. Because I'm a teacher, I was able to have it before my age gap. So I'm really, really happy. So it's tomorrow at 7.45 p.m. <laughs> it's pretty late. So I'm gonna get vaccinated after doing a 24-hour reading vlog. I don't know how it's gonna, it's gonna go. So maybe I'm gonna be like, dead the next day i'm still not back at work i'm still on my vacation so i'm gonna enjoy it i'm gonna take the time that i need to you know do the things i want to do so and i want to do a 24-hour reading vlog and i want also to get vaccinated so i'm gonna do that so this is the intro it's long enough um i'm extremely excited like i said because empire of storm was mind-blowing the ending oh my god and Tower of Dawn is basically basically takes place at the same time as Empire of Storm. So they like both of them, Empire of Storm and Tower of Dawn, are the setup to Kingdom of Ash. So I'm so excited to read this. Yeah. So this is the intro. I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. I hope you're you're gonna enjoy my thoughts on it. It, it. it will contain spoilers, okay? So if you haven't read Kingdom of Ash, 
just move on. Don't watch this video, okay? Um, yeah. But if you want my thoughts on it, here you go. It's gonna be in this video, so... I will see you later. <laughs> Bye. So I'm back from the Apple store. I left my computer there so they can repair it. It's currently 8 p.m. And I'm going to start my 24-hour of reading. Kingdom of Ash. I already put my um, my bookmark just because I I didn't want to look for it. But yeah, our bookmark is in it. I'm going to start Kingdom of Ash. I'm really, really excited. So I have 980 pages to read. Wish me luck. I'm going to start right now. And this vlog is going to end tomorrow at 8 p.m. Well, it's, it's going to end earlier because I have to go get vaccinated at 7.45. Yeah, let's, let's start this. Okay, little update. I've been reading for one hour and 45 minutes. And... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, I told you um, to expect spoilers, so spoilers are coming. Um, first of all, we open with a chapter, well, a couple pages on like Rowan's and Aelin, and <laughs> I almost died. Um, <laughs> then we see Adian and Lysandra, and how Adian is not friendly with Lysandra, which I think it's really sad because I love Lysandra and she's doing this for her queen and for, you know, for a friend and Adian is just stupid, anyway. And then we see Elide, Elide, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Elide, I'm gonna say Elide, with Lorcan, Gabrielle and Rowan who are on the western continent and they are currently on the search for Aileen which I'm like yes <laughs> go get her um go help her poor Aileen then we see like what Aileen is currently enjoying and fuck it's <sighs> It's really intense, the torture scene. I'm just, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, um, we also get a glimpse of Cole and Irene, 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 <laughs> um, on their way here, on their way to Terrasen to help, you know, with um, the Kagan and the Ross. And then we also have a glimpse of Manon and Dorian. I love them. They're still having sex, which I think is brilliant. But Dorian really wants to go to Moroth to get the third word key. So, and Manon is on the search for the Crotons, um, which is so... Um, they're not on the same path, you know, they don't want the same thing, so it's a little bit frisky over there. But then they encounter a Stygian spider, and we quickly realize that that spider is the one who took two decades out of Falcon's life. Falcon, who is the uncle to Lysandra, and that Stygian spider is also the one who Menon stole spider silk from and she can shapeshift because of Falcon's power and the two decades that she took from him and Dorian wants to learn shapeshifting magic from her, from the spider to infiltrate Morath that's his plan. Is he gonna be able to do it? We'll see. But um, I love Dorian <laughs> so much. I love Manon. I feel so, so sad for Aileen. And now Fenris. Fenris just lost his brother. His brother killed himself, plunging a dagger into his heart, in his face, um, under Mav's quarter. And Aileen just fought back a little bit. Um, she took two shattered glass thingy and one plunged it to 
Kern, Kern, Kern whatever, the psychopath. And the other one is she throw at Maev. Maev, I'm gonna say Maev because I, I can say Maev, whatever. Um, she throw it at her and it just cut a little bit on, on, on her cheek and there's black blood coming out of it for a second. After that, it turns like red and Eileen is like, was that black or was that an hallucination? She's gonna quickly realize that Maev is actually a Vulg queen. Ah! I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. So, um, it's really, really good so far. I'm really excited. I'm gonna continue reading. I'm loving it. I'm currently watching a 12 hours of relaxing fireplace sounds burning fireplace and crackling fire sounds no music video on youtube so i'm gonna continue enjoying that and after that um i'll give you an update later probably at the 200 page mark right now i'm uh i read 100 pages so i'm really proud of so far so let's go and continue shall we <laughs> so um Rowan and his gang just arrived in Doronella and you know Aileen is there and Maeve's gone so I have high hopes <laughs> they're gonna be able to retrieve Aileen at that point <sighs> I can't wait I think I'm gonna cry oh my god I'm 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 gonna cry when Aileen and Rowan's reunite I we cry, I know it. Um, I'm on to 200 pages, and <laughs> this book is so good. <laughs> I still have 780 pages left, but um, it's so good. So I'm I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna go and continue my reading because it's amazing. It's almost midnight. I want to continue. I want to remove my gun tack lenses and my makeup. But I want to know what's going to happen. So I'm going to wait <laughs> a bit more until like my eyes can take it anymore. And after that, I'm going to remove my gun tack lenses and my makeup and maybe retrieve to bed just to change my position. I'm not turret. I don't feel turret. So... I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go continue reading a little bit more. I'll update you later. Bye. I'm at the end of chapter 26. <laughs> oh my god. Um oh my god, and Fenris just snapped the blood hole completely. I cry. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is too much. My heart is beating so fast. I need to continue. I just wanted to say that. I'm crying. She got out. I can't believe it. She got out. Oh my god. Oh. She finally got out. I'm so happy. I'm <clears throat> Fenris. Fenris is. I'm really scared Fenris is gonna die. But she's out. She's finally out. Oh, I'm so relieved. She's. She's safe. She's safe. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> I will continue to read. Because I, yeah, I need to know. So, the Roran torturing Kern. Oh, I have emotions. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, God. 
Rowan torturing Karen is just chef's kiss. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. As you can probably tell by my face, my eyes, I'm completely exhausted. <laughs> so I'm on page 332 and I need to go to sleep. I'm going to update you tomorrow because I have, I'm too tired to talk. Good night. I'm gonna wake up pretty early. Yeah. Good night. It's currently 3 a.m. So I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye, bunny. Good morning. So, um, the last clip that you saw of me made no sense. Um, I was so tired, so exhausted. So I wake up at 7 after going to bed at 3 in the morning. So I slept 4 hours. I'm extremely tired, um, but I want to read. <laughs> oh yeah, I make myself a coffee, so I will drink. So I will drink my coffee. Uh, last night before going to bed, I was on page 330, and a lot happened. Um, you saw me cry also last night. So Aileen is finally saved. Um, Fenris is safe too. Um, Aileen. Give him a blood oath so he could survive. Now they are in this like tunnel thing um, on a boat and they are in complete dark and they're going to the shore. So they come back to Irelia. Um, also, what happened? Um, Adrian and his gang, Alessandra, got attacked by. A big chunk of like the army, Marath army, uh, Dorian was able to shape shift a little bit, so he changed his hair color, his high color. Also, he summoned Kaltain from here. I never liked that character really much, but the final thing that she did for everyone was really brave, and I, I, I love that move from her. But yeah, um. Also, Cole and his father reunited, which was tense, to say the least. And they're preparing for um, another chunk of Morat's army to come and trying to destroy them. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that is happening. So, I'm gonna go on the couch. I'm gonna go read. I'm really excited. I would update you. Maybe at the 400 page mark, or maybe a little bit more, I don't know. And um, I'm gonna go right now. I'm still watching like my fireplace thing just because I like the ambiance, but yeah, it's really gloomy outside. Today I'm getting vaccinated. It's gonna be a great day, so update you later. Aileen and Cole just reunited. I love that. Part. Oh my god, she was so emotional to see Kale like walking even with a cane and also Aileen and Irene Reunion was just It cried. It was so emotional It was so like full circle, you know, we were first introduced to Irene in like the Assassin's Blade the short story collection uh set before throne of glass and um <sighs> yeah it's just like so full circle i love it and then Haleen reunited with nesrin and then Haleen presented her husband rowan and her court and it was just <laughs> so bad and then she was introduced to asar and sartak and i'm like oh, i love that love that um, I'm really scared for Adian and Lysandra. It's not, it's not looking good for them. I'm really, really scared. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to continue reading. I'm on page 410. So I'm going to continue reading. It's currently 10 a.m. I'm a bit tired, but I will, uh, drink my coffee and just try to stay awake for as long as I can.
and read. I'm just so excited. So I'll update you later. It's so gloomy outside. Anyway, it's currently 2 p.m. and I'm on page 500. Adrian is an ass and he just realized it when, you know, Lisandro was about to die. So Lisandro is really mad at him. I get it, girl. Um, Aileen and Cole's father met. It was funny. Man in Dorian's moment when Dorian is a woman. It's pretty funny. Um, but at the same time, he speaks the truth. You know, he said that she's afraid. That she cares about him, and that's true. Um, she finally becomes the Crochin Queen. She is accepted, so I don't know where she's gonna go. I think she's gonna go north and help Adian and Lysandra. I think she's gonna be there at the right time because they're still, you know, in, in shit. Then the Battle of Aniel, Aileen. Is just like a badass fighter. Um, Lorcan just being struck, so I'm not there, so we'll see what's gonna happen. Right now, like I said, it's really gloomy, which is <laughs> and I'm really cold, so I think I'm gonna go in the bath. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the bath to warm up and I'm gonna read more, of course, um, and I'll update you later but yeah it's 2 p.m i'm ending this at 8 p.m so i have six hours to read 480 pages i think i'm gonna be able to do it so it's 6 p.m and i'm currently uh, making dinner i'm making burgers so me it's a vegetarian burger because i'm vegetarian i've been for the past eight years so yeah wow eight years goes by so quickly anyway so yeah so i'm gonna do i'm currently um cooking my boyfriend's patty okay, just gonna put the buns in the toaster okay and yeah just we're just gonna eat burgers I'm really excited i just got out of the bat it's dark outside um yeah i'm on page 620 it's 4 p.m i'm ending this in four hours I have 340 pages left. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it because I, you know, I have to get dinner, I have to get ready, well, ready. I have to go get vaccinated um, also at 7.45. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it, but um, it's not gonna be 24 hour, but I'm gonna finish this tonight. Like, I really want to, so. I'm going to. <laughs> so now I'm going to read a little bit more. Um, I'm going to start making dinner at 6. So I'm going to read for another hour and a half. See where I go. And yeah, after that I'm going to make dinner. And I read more before I get to get my vaccine. So <laughs> yeah. So I'm really, really enjoying all of this. It's so good. Um, so what happened when I was in the bath? Manon and Dorian had a last moment together before Dorian is gonna go to Marat and um, Manon proposed to him to get married so um, they can unite and you know he can stay and go to Marat because she's scared for him. It's so cute. Lorcan and Elite are okay thanks to Aileen. Thank you Aileen. Um, and they told each other that they love each other, and yeah, it was so cute. Aiden and Alessandra were saved by the um Mycenaeans with Rolf, Captain Rolf. So, really happy about that. Um, Manon got word that Tarasin asked for help, and she's gonna go and help them. So help Adian and Lysandra. And now um, Maev is in Moroth and Dorian kind of stroke a deal with her. 
is it a ruse or is it real? Is it gonna betray everyone or? God, I don't know. I'm so scared. So, <laughs> I'm gonna continue reading because I'm scared, like I said. I don't know what's gonna happen, but yeah, I'm gonna read for another hour and a half. After that, I'm gonna go make dinner. So, I'll update you in an hour and a half. So, here we go. You have my boyfriend's burger. Mine is this, it's a Beyond Meat burger patty. I have salad, tomatoes. I'm gonna cut to this red onion also. I'm sorry if it's really messy, but yeah. I'm, I'm gonna show the final result after it, but yeah. I'm gonna eat burgers with fries. So, um, I hate dinner. Um, I completely forgot to show you my dinner, but yeah, it was delicious. Now I'm gonna go read. So it's, it's around 6.30 and like I said earlier, I'm getting vaccinated at 7.45. Um, so I still have a little bit of time to read. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what happened before I went uh, and made dinner? Um, Dorian? Dorian. <laughs> Dorian betrayed Maeve. Um, like I hope he would. But yeah, he took the third word key then like freeze my or something like just yeah and she was terrified of his power is so powerful like what the fuck um and he he took down the tower of Maroth completely like what <laughs> crazy so um yeah dorian is fucking powerful like what the fuck like alien is really powerful don't get me wrong but dorian is in another league like his magical powers and like endless he basically learned mive's power like what <laughs> yeah it's crazy anyway so <laughs> Um, like I said, yeah, it's 6.30, gonna read a little bit more, I'm probably gonna read for like 45 minutes, after that I'm gonna get ready and go get vaccinated, I have to be there a little bit in advance, so yeah, um, but for now, I'm on page 720, I'm gonna be able to be close to 800, and while I get vaccinated, I might be able to get to 800. That would be like, that would be amazing <laughs> because I would only have like 180 pages left to this book after getting vaccinated. And I can do that before going to sleep. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna go read <laughs> before I get the vaccine. Let's go read. I'm right now. It's the Battle of Orin, and yeah, Manon arrived in time, which I'm really, really happy. I was so scared she wouldn't. Um. Oh, oh, and what happened also be before when I cooked dinner? Um, it just it just popped in my head. Aileen's gang catched Vernon. He lead uncle Aileen is ruthless she interrogates him and um, you know Loken really wanted to kill him uh, Vernon because of what he did to Aileen but Aileen strike a deal with Vernon and tells him like none of us will kill you if you tell me what I want to hear and so he tells her everything, how Maev is was to came to Maroth and um the one hundred thousand soldiers are going to Oranth and Peranth was taking also under Marath's uh Marath soldiers and yeah. And then he's like, okay, are you gonna unchain me? Because it was chained to a chair. To a chair. And she's like, hmm, I didn't say I would unchain you. I said, none of us would kill you. 
so she just tightens the chains and basically left him there to die of st starving <laughs> ruthless ruthless love her love her so much so yeah I gotta go read because I'm, I, I'm in the battle of Orient and I'm just like really nervous of what would happen so oh an Adian just before I go an Adian told Lysandra he loved her I love them so much I'm so happy they like talking again because I love their banter I love their the chemistry but yeah <laughs> Oh, I'm scared, so I'm gonna go read. Bye. <laughs> I'm crying. Just finished chapter 89. And the 13th. Oh, it got me. And the 13th sacrifice. I can't talk. The 13th sacrifice themselves to save Orin. So sad for Manon. So sad. Oh my God. I can stop crying. <laughs> We're gonna continue because I need to go soon. Yes, I need Okay, so I'm on page seven hundred and seventy, and I cried a lot. As you can tell, my eyes are all puffy. It is time for me to go get vaccinated. It's almost 7.30, so I need to go. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring my book with me because I have like 15 minutes to wait over there after I get vaccinated. So I'm gonna put a little bit of reading into that, I hope. There's nothing sad that's going to make me cry in public. I don't want to do that. So, yeah, but I'm so close to the end. When I'll be back, It'd be more than 8 p.m. So I didn't finish this book in 24 hours, but like I said earlier, I'm going to finish this tonight. So I'm gonna continue vlogging it, and uh, yeah, I will feel accomplished either way, just because I read that book in like a really short amount of time. So that's amazing. And it's kind of 24 hour because I slept like a couple of hours last night. So, so uh, I'm on my way to go get vaccinated. So I'm gonna take you with me. I'm in my car. I'm, I'm leaving now. It, it's really close from my house. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go there. I'm gonna take you along with me. We'll see how this will go, but yeah, let's go. Let's go get vaccinated. So I'm back home. Um, it's 8.30 and here I am. Got vaccinated. <laughs> My arm hurts, but otherwise I feel pretty fine. We'll see how this night will go. But yeah, um, because the second vaccine, when I got it in July, Felt, I felt like shit. Sorry if you can hear my boyfriend. He's playing video games. He's having fun. Um, I'm on page 799 of Kingdom of Ash. I'm so close to the end. Um, Aileen just... Mm, so mad at her. But anyway. So Aileen banished the gods and no well, yeah and she ripped their world apart and they're like so mad but they're banished forever so they're gonna stay there and now she's gonna try to go back home so yeah so we'll see how this goes yeah um give you an update but yeah, um, technically, like I said before, going to get vaccinated. Um, the 24 hour is done. So I read 800 pages or so. 
during that time but yeah i'm going i have this like only left so i'm going to finish it tonight because it's still early it's still just 8 30 so um yeah i'm gonna finish this tonight so i'm gonna update you later with some things that would happen <laughs> oh my god I just update you but she passed through a world of snowscape mountains under shining stars. Valaris <gasps> passed over one of those mountains where a winged male stood beside a heavily pregnant female. Resad and Pharaoh <gasps> gazing at those very stars of fate. They were fate that this was not a world. A blast of dark power, like a gentle summer night, slammed into her, not to attack, but to slow her down. A wall, a shield, that she t that she tore and plunged through, but it's slower than the winged male's power slow her just enough. <laughs> Aileen encountered Rhysand and Fair. <laughs> oh, God. I have to continue reading. So I'm on the 900 pages. So I have 80 pages left. And I'm gonna be done with Kingdom of Ash. I believe it. Um, I put my PJ on. I retrieved to my bed. And now I'm gonna finish this tonight, which is crazy. Um, it's currently 10 p.m. I'm gonna finish this. I'm so excited. Um, I can't believe it. So many things happened. Um, Gabriel is dead. He sacrificed himself for his son. Aileen arrived at the Orient with her dad. So yeah, Gabriel is dead. But yeah, she arrived at the Orient. She's there and she's playing. She's doing mind games with Erwan and Maev, so she she's so smart. She made Erin doubt uh, Maev, and that worked. So now she's fighting Maev. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I'm scared of what is going to happen. There's only 80 pages left of this book. They're still fighting, you know. So I don't know. I'm scared. Dorian and Irene joined the power together to finally kill Erwan and that was so satisfying. And we learn Dorian's father's name. It's Dorian. I'm gonna continue reading. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. It's crazy how Aileen always have a plan B, C, D, E, all the alphabet letters. It's crazy. She's so clever. <laughs> I love her. And they finally kill Maeve, which I'm so happy. It was so satisfying. And it's Ferris really, um, you know, hurt her the most, which I think is just really fitting. But yeah, Aileen just cutting Maeve's head. It's just chef's kiss. <laughs> I'm gonna continue reading. I finished Kingdom of Ash. It's done. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. It's almost midnight. I'm so tired. I need to go to bed. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up tomorrow, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> now, good night. See you tomorrow. So hi everyone, we are the next day and um, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. So I read Kingdom of Ash in 28 hours. So it's almost 24 hours, you know, like 28. It's, I did it, okay? For me, I did it. I'm really proud of myself. I'm really happy. I'm done with a series this year. Um, the year just started, but yeah, I'm already done with the series which I'm so happy. Um, this was amazing. <laughs> I'm 
this was amazing this was a wild ride god um i cried i laughed i was angry all the emotions really um i'm so 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 happy that i read it like i'm so happy it was so good i love loved the throne of glass series um yeah it was so fun to read it was really really fun i love those characters so much and everything is just wrapped up perfectly in my opinion i'm really really happy so um i don't know what else to say this was amazing this was amazing <laughs> i'm so happy five out of five star of course okay. yeah if you're wondering how i feel after getting vaccinated yesterday um i feel fine i feel really really good actually um which i'm really happy because when i got the second dose the second vaccine i felt like shit okay i i had a fever i had like body chills my body was aching i my body hurt um i had the biggest headache i was tired so tired it was not cool it was not cool i was not feeling well at all and um, i was scared that this time again i will feel like shit but no i feel fine i just my, my arm is like really hurting me i can't move past this um it's it just hurts but otherwise it's i feel fine so i'm really really happy i hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope you enjoy seeing me reading kingdom of ash for the first time in 24 hours um and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye